Yes, you read the title correct. Programmers should love TikTok. And you might be saying, hey, Tesh, we loved you so much. You produce so much of the quality content. But you are saying programmers should love TikTok? That was not expected from you. And I'm totally with you. TikTok produces the most shittiest content on the, on the internet or entire planet or maybe in the galaxy. Its content is totally shit, but still, I am still on my point that programmers should love TikTok. And I have a valid reason alongside with the example. So let's get started. In order to understand why programmers should love TikTok, I have a separate example. Now, in all of my boot camps, whether that's Android, iOS, or uh, maybe React Native, or whatever we are learning on the mobile application development, I always talk about one great example by one of the apps which I don't use, probably I don't like it much, which is Snapchat. Now, I know there are a lot of fans of Snapchat, I don't like it much because I think Instagram is better. By the way, you can join me over there in the Instagram. But again, hear me out. Now, there is a great legendary feature in the, Insta in the Snapchat which everybody knows, whether you use it or not. And that is when you send an image to anybody and he just views the image, goes back, poof, the image is gone. This is a classic example which any teacher can give to his students in case he want to explain the life cycle event of mobile application, whether that's Android, iOS, React Native, Flutter, whatever that is. This is the perfect example where you can just copy a feature in your bootcamp and just allows your student to understand the importance of the life cycle activities. I do give this example in all of my iOS bootcamp in case you have joined it. In case also in the Android bootcamps also we try to give this example so that it, students understand that yes, life cycle events are not just theoretical part. There is an implementation and huge applications are using just this small feature. But hey Tish, this is a Snapchat. What about the TikTok? Why programmers should love TikTok? Again, repeating myself and I'm also guilty as charged because I still don't have guts to just install the TikTok and just bear those shitty content that is being produced in the TikTok. But still, at least I'm, all, I'm also guilty as charged. I should not just think like that. I should instead install the TikTok. And there is a reason why every programmer should at least uh, just watch a few content of the TikTok or at least go through with the application process. The reason is... Can you even imagine the amount of traffic that this app is handling? The amount of video that are being streamed, uploaded, downloaded and are being viewed on the TikTok. Everything is so amazingly optimized that I have rarely seen the compl complaints about uh, the data is buffering or we are not able to see that. Not only that, the optimization at every single level, how they're storing that, how the database is going to be looking like or what kind of shredding they're using or whatever the concepts they're using behind the scene. It just blows my mind. On top of that, they are using the machine learning and the face detection so amazingly well. In fact, if I would be a student right now, I would have loved to do an internship at a such company like TikTok. Even what the, my friends or anybody says, I would love to do an internship on to that. If I would be in the college right now, I would have definitely applied to that company. It just blows my mind that how much filter they are giving uh, to the user and how well these filters are working, how much they are able to do with the videos, side-by-side -side videos and the lip sync. It's just a whole new world. And I still think that a programmer who is able to do such kind of thing in the video world, that fascinates me so much. I genuinely believe that this application is using machine learning and facial feature detection at its best, nobody else is doing it as, as great as this shitty app is doing. Again, the content what is, what is being uploaded on the app is debatable that how is it being so shitty. It's all about the target audience and what kind of people they are uploading the content, all about that. Let's not go into that. But I would say that if as a programmer you download this app and you try to just mimic a couple of features uh, in any dummy application that you're building up, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I know I'm a very optimistic person and I try to keep positive in all the sense. And with this video, keeping it short, I would still recommend all of you that, hey, as a programmer, we should not be bothered about what content is being uploaded or not. Rather, we should always seek out to learn something wherever we can. And again, handling such level of videos and providing such feature is something we definitely can learn from TikTok. And probably in the future, I would try to incorporate some of the features of this TikTok, probably some of them into our next bootcamp, but who knows what will be the future.
So again, this is my thought, just personal thought that TikTok can be an amazing thing for programmers to learn a lot of things from it. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about it? Of course, the content is shitty, but there is no need to write that, it's already shitty. So go in the comment section below and let me know if you, what do you think about the TikTok as a programmer? That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this quick short bit and a piece of thought that I tried to place in front of my audience. In case you enjoyed it, you can hit that like button. And in case you haven't yet subscribed, hey, no hurry. You can subscribe it whenever you like. Just hit that like button and we're gonna catch up in the next video.